In this episode, I'm going to be looking at PE Design 11's Quick Access Toolbar. I have the launch icon here in my taskbar for PE Design 11. So if I click that, that will launch PE Design 11. Here we go. So underneath the ribbon, we have the quick access toolbar. Yours might look different from mine because I've customized mine for my own needs. Click on the flower icon at the top of the screen and then click on options. This will bring up the options dialog box and it's one of the ways in which we can customize the quick access toolbar. Over on the right is what you currently have set up in the quick access toolbar. So in my case, uh, I have the design settings, which is the first icon here. And you can see there's a separator, which is here. And then I have new, open, save, export file, and so on, which you can read. And if we scroll down there, you can see some of the ones that I've actually added, some of the tools that I use most often. So you may ask yourself, well, what's the benefit of this? Because I can click and I know where they are in, in which menu. Well, the answer to that is sometimes the, the way the system works, you have to click several times back and forth between different tabs to get to the command that you need, which can be time consuming and a little bit frustrating by having the tools that you use most often available in this quick access toolbar, as the name suggests, you have quick access to be able to get to that point and improve your workflow. So what you have in here is really up to you. I find personally, if I do quite a lot of manual digitizing, so I want to have access to the straight block, the curve block, the running stitch and the feed and also the closed straight line and so on. What you have in here is, is entirely up to you. You can choose commands from various menus. So what Brother suggests is the popular commands are the ones, as you can see, on the left. So things like zoom in, the wizard, the stitch view, stitch simulator and so on. But I don't use these particular ones here, solid view, stitch and so on, because down at the bottom of the interface here, you have those same icons and they're always there. So to my mind, there's no point in adding them up here as well. So if we click on the down arrow here, you can also search by commands that aren't in, currently in the ribbon, which might be useful. If you know where it is, the icon that you're looking for or the tool, they are all available here according to which tab they appear on. So for example, if we take image here on the image one, you get a lot of icons associated with images. So photo stitch wizards, for example. So if you do a lot of photo stitch, you might want to add those into your quick access toolbar. Personally, I don't do a great deal of, of photo stitch or auto punch or cross stitch, so they aren't in my quick access toolbar. But the ones I find found most useful were, were things such as icons connected with shapes. So adding direction lines, for example, or curve type curve type to smooth, to symmetry, and so on, deleting direction lines. All of these commands are available to be added into the quick access toolbar. Again, these are some of the ones that I've added onto my quick access toolbar. So as you can see here, the curve block, the feed. Now, 
also very useful and i this is these are two of the ones that i really suggest you add into this uh, quick access toolbar is region and line input fields so you can choose the region color and so on so if you see in what i have in mine we have the line color the line so type so line color line so type and the region color and the region so type and i've used a separator to delineate each each section if you like and for example over on the shapes i've added the open straight line the open curve and then the open curve pencil and also the closed straight line closed curve and closed pencil because they're tools that i use all the time and it saves me having to access the shapes from the the shapes drop down here from the home tab so if we just cancel out of that i'll show you what i mean if i want to access for example the straight block i have to go into shapes and then straight block but if i'm on the image tab where we have tools connected with images i have to go back to home then shapes then manual punch so that's one two three clicks and i can do it in one so that's the benefit of having this quick access toolbar another quick way of adding to that is here you can there's a there's a little drop down here and you can go to more commands which will take you back to where we've just been or if you right click you can customize it so there's another one while i'm here on this screen what you can also do if you are used to working with keyboard shortcuts you can actually customize those so for example if you wanted to have manual punch as a keyboard shortcut you could choose which one that you were looking for so for example let's say running stitch there is no current key assigned to that so if we wanted to do control r for example it might be that control r is assigned to something in this case it says assigned to unassigned what we can do is we can assign that to running so the current key is it now tells me is control plus r so if i now close close ok if i press control r i now have the running stitch tool and then i'll press enter to finish that and there we go let's just delete that so there you have it lots of ways to access the quick access toolbar and we can customize it with the tools that we use and need the most that's it for this little tutorial i hope you found it useful if you did please like the video and consider subscribing to my channel where i will hopefully get more of these tutorials out and uploaded to youtube many thanks for listening bye bye now